model is to invest in a large apartment complex where you can add value. This means increasing NOI, and I'm gonna discuss what that is in a second, and you can increase the NOI by adding value or by eliminating the expenses. The ways to add value that increases is you can renovate the interiors, you could add washer and dryers to units, you could add community amenities, uh, maybe it's a fitness area, dog park, car wash, vacuum, uh, outdoor grill, maybe you just, you know, put lipstick on a pig, paint the outside, uh, better landscaping. You know, there's a lot of ways that you can add value. So why does this work? Why does adding value work? This isn't like flipping a house. For those of you who have flipped a house, you know, there's different ways to value those based on the price per square foot sold in the area. This is a little more of a commercial business approach with cap rates and NOI. So the apartment valuation formula, you might want to take a screenshot of this is, or write it down, is to take the NOI, that's your net operating income, and divide it by your cap rate. Now I'm explaining this. Your net operating income is the total income of an apartment minus the expenses. So the income includes your rent, your application fees, your late fees, your laundry fees, your utility fees, whatever you're doing to bring in income. If you've got a Coke machine out by the pool, that's you know the income from that. All that is included in your income. The expenses include everything but the mortgage on the property. And that's very important. So your taxes, your insurance, um, your labor, your, you know, your payroll costs, all that goes, involved, goes into your expenses um, into calculating the NOI. But the only thing that does not is the mortgage on the property. Why? Because people get different debt on different businesses and it's easier to evaluate things by their value if you don't include the individual debt which is subjective to that one particular owner, right? So the cap rate, so the NOI is basically your profit, uh, it, but you're taking out the, the mortgage from that. The cap rate is the percentage that properties are being traded on the market. So the, the main thing that you need to understand about the cap rate is the lower, I'm sorry, the higher the cap rate, the lower the value of the apartment. But the lower the cap rate, the higher the value of the apartment. So let's talk about some math. And this is where it's gonna be helpful for you to maybe write it down, uh, maybe screenshot, and maybe get your calculator out. Let's take an example. Say you have 200 units, okay? That's 200 apartment units. That gets you an average of $750 a month in rent. Okay, you follow me so far? All right, uh, now say that the total monthly rent is 150,000, right? Because that's 750 times 200. So if you take that annually, you take that 150,000 that you're getting a month, over the course of a year, you're making 1.8 million, right? Now I'm not, just for the sake of this math, I'm not gonna get bogged down into the other income sources like the pet fees and the application fees. Let's just say the apartment makes $1.8 million, right? And for example, the expenses are about 45% of that. So say the expenses are $810,000, all right? And that does not include the mortgage again. So the NOI would be 1.8 million minus 810,000. And if you're calculating that on your calculator, you're gonna see that that is 990,000. So if the cap rate is 6%, that means to get the value of the apartment, you would simply divide that 990,000 by 6%. So if you're doing that on your calculator, punch in 990,000 and then divide that by 0 0.06 and that's gonna get you your value. So 990,000 divided by 6% is 6.5 million dollars all right so this particular apartment this is a 200 unit is 6.5 million dollars but say that you discovered in that particular market of this apartment that there's other apartments in the area that are getting 950 dollars per unit in rent and you say well what's the difference between those apartments and our apartments well those properties have new floors, they've got granite countertops, yours is for mica, they've got stainless steel appliances, we've got you know the old white refrigerator, 
Uh, it's got a fitness room. We don't have one. And the laundry is in the uh, units instead of in the laundry, right? Um, so now the people in the other apartment, they can watch Oprah on their couch in their underwear while they're doing their laundry instead of having to wait in the laundry room. People are willing in that market to pay for that extra value. So after doing the market analysis, you say, all right, well, great. All we need to do is renovate the interiors. Uh, that's about 4,000 to 10,000 per unit, depending on how much needs to be done. And then you can put the washer and dryers in the actual units that's included in your interior renovation costs. And you can convert the laundry room instead of it being the laundry room, you can make that the fitness area. Now you're exactly the same as the comparable properties. And in doing that, the tenants, maybe not exactly the tenants in your specific apartment complex, but the tenants in that marketplace, they are now willing to pay $950 per unit instead of that 750. <clears throat> and I understand that there's a lot of stuff that's involved in this, guys. I'm, I'm trying not to get bogged down on details so you can get the overall concept, right? So what does that do to the value of the apartment? So you forced, you were able to go in, you forced up all the rents um, by 950 per unit. Well, an extra $200 per unit per month for 200 units would be, you multiply 200 by 200, that's 40,000 a month in income. <coughs> and an extra 40,000 a month in income over a year is $480,000 a year, 40,000 times 12. So at the same cap rate of 6%, this is the same cap rate they're, they're being traded at, adding an extra 480,000 a year in value equals an increase in value of $8 million, okay? And you might be sitting there thinking, there's no way. But I'm telling you, that's absolutely true. Um, if you haven't seen that before, now you're seeing it. That's the formula that my buddy's little brother came back with from Harvard. That's the formula that's been repeated over and over and over again. And that's how they grew their company in 10 years to $1.4 billion because you're able to go in, make some remedial changes, increase the NOI, and increase the value by millions of dollars. And it depends on the apartment, obviously, but that's the model. All right, if you found this information valuable, then please make sure to like and subscribe for more. But also, more importantly, I'd like to invite you to join our real estate investing club called the Thousand Door Tribe. In the Thousand Door Tribe, you get access to all the step-by-step -step trainings that show you how to execute each real estate strategy that is perfect for your situation, and you get live group membership, you get access to partners and capital for big deals, and you get all the contracts and tools and support that you need on your real estate journey. So check it out at a thousanddoortribe.com. Take care.